What is happening guys? Cowboy here, and we are back in good old frozen Elium Lois. So for those people that are trying to figure out how to get here, the outer wall is obviously the very first bonfire, but what you would do is you would go over to Shaded Woods, in particular Ruin Fork Road, you would run on over to the Shrine of Winter, and then assuming you have the item, you will be able to come to frozen Elium Lois. So, out of all the DLCs, this would probably be, I don't know, it's, it's close between this and Iron King for my favorite. This is definitely a really cool DLC. Uh, it's, it's certainly difficult. And, you know, the bosses are crazy. So, obviously, this is where the first boss is at. But, yeah, as she mentioned, Ava is watching. We're, yeah, I, I get it, lady. Shut your mouth. We're not going anywhere near that right now. Right now, the boss is basically invisible. Now, you can try and fight the boss invisible. You know, that's perfectly, uh, perfectly acceptable. And I passed my 3 million mark. Oh, shnikes. Let's do... Where is that thing at? There it is. Start absorbing those souls. I don't want any more souls. I want to stay nice nice and at that uh, threshold. But, uh, so, you know, these guys are very similar to the ones you saw in the Old Iron King DLC, except obviously now they're all Frosty Knights. And for those that watched when I went to go get the Dark Clutch Ring and Dark Dance, you probably kind of recognize this part. But So Radiant Life Gem... Parries are king here. As with all the DLCs, parries and backstabs are your best friend, basically. You made me miss my parry! Ow! Stop going all anime on me with rapid swings. So, we're gonna move this later. As you can see, there's a little switch right here. And we can't get it right now, but later on we can. And there is a decent amount of loot back there that we'll be able to get. Now, this lady right here, right now, she's passive. You can attack her and kill her, but um, basically until you stop the ice storm, they won't really fight back. So if you want to kill them now, you know, more than welcome to. Nothing is stopping you. But it's you know, just something to keep in mind. Obviously, once you, you quell the ice storm, there's a couple things of loot that you can get, which will want you to run back through this area to grab. And... You know, at that point, they'll be hostile, and there's a couple of them around, so... Too early. Try this again. Too late. There we go. Just right. Bad Frozen Knight. Now there's a couple of puppy dogs down here. A little hard to see, but I would suggest popping them off. Dark orbs, uh, bow and arrow, whatever works for you. In the very least, by shooting one, you can see they're on their way on over now. So it does help to just draw them on over, make it a little bit easier. Kill them. Dark Raid Sword probably isn't the most effective, but I put it on and I want to use the damn thing. Isn't there something... Yes. Alright. So this is your first encounter with frozen loot. Now, I'm going to be... I think one thing... Yeah, no, there's a chick on that side. This one is where the loot's at. But obviously we can't go that way for now. That's all frozen. So just keep in mind, we are going to be grabbing that stuff later on. But for the time being, it is inaccessible. So I'd go over and kite this guy over to here. These guys will shoot you with the Ice Rapier Blasts, so it's best to try and fight the one uh, isolated, you know, just by separating him from the pack. And it's going to make it a lot easier for us. See, now this one's going to come up and join into the fray. Another one of those chicks that'll wake up. Once again, you can see we're using the ice to our advantage to keep us separated from the guy that has that ice rapier that wants to be all super spammy with blasts. Now, I'm not sure if I can actually backstab these ones. No, I don't think I can. I'm just trying to remember, and I think uh, that latest attempt right there is 
pretty positive confirmation that they are non backstabbable. So, either way, of course, you just get perfect fucking every time. Even without backstabbing, you can still repost them. So, we're gonna back into this corner here. A little bit of a risky strategy, but paid off. Another cool thing about this DLC, which you may or may not have already noticed, but as we roll around in the snow, you can see we're covered in a nice white powder. We're all white and fluffy and pretty, like we've been playing in Snowstorm all day. Tight spot. Goddamn right it is. So, there is... Um, an entrance right there, completely encased in ice. That's also an area we're going to go back to later, so don't worry about it. There is a shortcut up in that tower, and we're going to come back that way, but that's also later, so once again, don't worry about it. Another lady that'll wake up after we unfreeze everything. For now, we're going to go kill this dick, who is very, very spam happy. So many stabs. Alright, so inside we go, and this may start to look familiar now, so we're going to open this one first. Now up here you're going to find a number of pieces of loot. We can't really get any of it right now, but nonetheless we're going to go up here because there is a drop down up here that you would do to get, um, I believe it was the clutch ring, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so another lady. Once again, not an issue right now. Kill her if you want, you don't have to, it doesn't really matter. This is just the room that we entered in. That's another one. So you go up top, three chests, as well as a frozen golem. And these guys are pretty cool, and I think I can backstab these ones. Yes, I can. So as you can see, these chests are all encased in ice. We are going to come back later. However, right here, if we drop down, and then we drop down again. Over here, we had Monastery Charm. Let me go around this way. This is where we found our Dark Clutch Ring. So, for those that missed that, we did it in a much earlier episode. I wanted to... Because you can grab both that and Dark Dance. They're both very early in the DLC. Obviously, the Clutch Ring right there. Um, Dark Dance being right up ahead. And we'll grab that in a second. But so, you got a couple knights. Um, I like to kind of draw them away. Get them to come back this way a little bit. And we'll make it easier to kill them all. Shit, a spear's at risk. That is no good. I had the uh, repair spell on. All right, crisis averted. Yay, stuff to roll through. All right, a couple more guys. We gotta. Fight our way through. We'll wait for this one to come. This is, like I said, there's more ice rapier guys, so... Just isolating these guys makes it a lot easier to take them all out. Damn it, ice rapier, man. You 
they see these two right here. Obviously, they aren't doing anything right now. In addition to this one, later on they will be. Alright, so this way is where you go to get Super Kung Fu Awesome Fist. Now, this is another thing that we can't access just yet. All you have to do is light these four braziers and this door will open up. Uh, we basically need to calm the storm first before that becomes accessible, though. But definitely an item worth picking up. I mean, I've worked that into a number of test builds, and it's it's really good, especially to combo things together. I don't remember if you were always here or not. Anyway, kill that guy. Come out here. Where is he? Yeah, it's a golem, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there he is. What's up, buddy? Tough enemy ahead. Tough my ass. So that takes care of them. We're all nice and white and powdery again. Good old Bell Helm. If you headshot immunity, and you get cool dings when you get hit with it. It goes bing! Bing! Kind of annoying to fight people that have it on, to be honest, but whatever. So from here, we could jump straight down. That's the uh, area that we just came from. You know, there's the frozen tower I was talking about, but you don't need to. You can, uh, just go right back up. You know it's Dark Souls when everything interconnects. So we killed that guy, we're gonna go on through, we drop down, and then here is the second bonfire at the abandoned dwelling. How are we on time? Twelve minutes? Looking good. Who's that? Alright, so... Man, I forgot that you have absolutely absurd range on that thing. Come on. Stop that. Just stand still. Let me backstab you. It'll be over soon. It'll be over soon. Once again, this is another example of an area that is relatively mild right now. However, later, it is uh, significantly harder to get through here. Well, maybe not significantly. Maybe that's an overstatement. But, you know, that chick wakes up. There's another one right there. Another one right there. They wake up. Even then, though, I mean, the whole, the same... No roll backstab tactics still apply, so it's not that bad. God, you were fucking obnoxious. God damn. Alright. So, from here, we would go this way. This is stuff that we had previously grabbed. Well, some stuff we previously grabbed. Ring of the Embedded. If I remember correctly, that's the one that lets you look like a human even when you're invading in someone else's world. That's the down area, you may remember. You know, there's the fountain and those dudes. Go right up here. Right here, nestled on this body, is Dark Dance. A really cool hex, unfortunately, doesn't really uh, net the worth we need for lower lend. Lower level PvP. Nice, uh, pointless little cove right there. So there's a door right here. This is locked right now. Once again, backstabs are supreme, as always.
I hit the switch. Okay, we're good. Now, if you go that way, there's a bonfire that we can get to, um, and that's the path you would go for the optional boss of the DLC. We're not going to do that right now. I think that door actually needs a key, so, you know what, why not? Let's go. Let's go, just to take a peek, because I don't really remember, to be honest. So I'm going to run over just to take a peek here, see if it is a key. Or if I am mistaken in my memory. Don't you do that shit. You're all dead now. Yeah, it's locked. thought it was. But anyway, um, just to point it out now, um, right there is the bonfire. There's, you can see a coffin right there. You lay in the coffin. You basically go on Dark Souls Solemn Edition, slide all the way down that hill, and then you're literally in just a frozen, hellish nightmare as you try to navigate through and fight a bunch of bullshit. It does open. Once again, as you can see, a lot of the stuff is frozen. But it's good to pop in here just because that way I feel, you know, you come in here, you'll have that visual reminder to come back here later and get the loot. And as you can see, this chest is a mimic, so keep that in mind. It's going to look like a normal chest when you come back, so the chest all the way to the right is the one that will be the mimic. It's not is it here. No, it's later on. There's one place where there's a ladder that you usually, you're not supposed to be able to access, but you can. It's like a weird non-frozen bug. Now, there's a bunch of loot around this area. Um, yeah, I guess we could get it now. There are, there's some uh, visible dudes that are going to be around here that'll try and do bullshit. One of them is on this thing. Yeah, now he's fighting. You can kind of see him. You can see a silhouette of him. You can't lock onto him, unfortunately. And after we unfreeze Ilium Lois, these guys are visible. So you don't have to fight him now. And in fact, we're just going to grab some of the loot real fast. We're not going to bother with fucking with him. We're just going to run through and get the items that we want. Yeah, there's one on each of these. I forgot that the lockstone is also frozen solid for the time being. So there's no real reason for us to go there. To the right, another path that becomes accessible after we unfreeze everything. Yeah, they're pretty far back. Should be good to come through here. But remember there is a guy right here? No? No guy? Oh, well. oh yeah, that's right. It's usually an invader one, New Game Plus. So another chest that's frozen. Another lady that'll become active after it's unfrozen. Basically, this entire fucking area just changes after you unfreeze it. Like, new new enemies that you fight, you know, those chicks become active, those guys become visible. Bunch of loot you can pick up. In fact, it's kind of silly to go through it right now. So, you guys may remember all the way back at the start how we had that thing with all the coffins. That's what this is. I mean, I thought we could destroy those and use this as a shortcut. Maybe not. All right, either way, the path down below is now unblocked, so we can take that. We're going to keep on going, though. Down is where... I'm trying to remember if it's down or up first. Either way, let's see if the ladder is visible. I don't know if they ever patched this. Yes, okay. So, <laughs> climbing on the invisible ladder, 
Uh, the ladder becomes visible after you unfreeze it, so technically the idea is you're not supposed to be able to use that right now. However, as you very clearly just saw, we can. So this is one of the few areas where we are going to clear out while everything is still frozen. I believe it's a really cool, uh, cool miracle. Yeah, splintering lightning spear. Rarely actually seen, but pretty cool nonetheless. Kill the puppy dog. So the right hero. And just like the other dogs, if you have a bow, you can bow cheese them. If you don't, you know, just treat them like any other dog. Just walk up, take them out how you would. Probably should have held off on that Estus, but we're almost through right now, so it's okay. Alright, and is this... No, that's right, that doesn't wrap around. So down we go. Water. Message says, "Bloody expensive." Pull back now. Don't listen to her. So, run up here. And the eye of the priestess is ours. Alright, so that's still closed. And with the eye of the priestess, enemies that were previously invisible are now visible. So this guy's just like the two enemies we were just fighting by the uh, the frozen Pharaoh's Lockstone area. This guy is another one of those. So once you grab the eye, you can begin to see all the otherwise invisible enemies. And this is important because, as I mentioned, the first boss is invisible. So basically by doing this, you can now fight the first boss without it being an absolute clusterfuck because you can actually see him. Through the mist. There's our bonfire. Oh, man. Nice. Into the inner wall. All right, guys. Either way, we are going to cut this one off here. Got through the majority of frozen helium lice. And we're going to continue. I might go and kill the first boss now. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll figure it out. Either way, make sure to stay tuned, and we will catch you guys next time with more Scholar of the First Sea.